All right, question number 51 is from gravitation. Four particles each of mass m and equidistant from each other move along a circle of radius r under mutual gravitational attraction. We got to find the speed of each. Quite obviously, this is formed under a symmetric situation and the symmetric situation is something like this. These are four particles and under their mutual gravitational attraction, they will move in a circle of radius r and the necessary centripetal force would be provided by the gravitational force of attraction. Like consider one mass. For this, it is exerted force of attraction from this side, from this side and from this side. Using superposition, the net force is root 2 g m square divided by x square where this is the distance x. And that can easily be found out because it's a right angle triangle. So under root r square plus r square will be x square. So this force and this force resultant is root 2 and plus this force. So that will be plus g m square by 2r square. That force would be equal to the centripetal which is mv square by r. And this thing will finally lead us to option number 1. All right, let's go with question number 52 and this is from SHM. A particle moves with simple harmonic motion in a straight line and in first tau seconds starting from rest. So if it starts from rest, that means the particle has begun from the amplitude. It travels a distance a and in next tau second, it travels a distance 2a in the same direction then we got to comment on the time period or amplitude. First of all, since it begins from extreme, so x is a cos omega t. And in the first tau second, it travels a, but x is the distance from the origin. So therefore, this would be a minus of a equals to a cos omega tau. That's equation number one. And in the next tau second, it travels a distance 2a. So altogether, it has already traveled a distance 3a. So that would be a minus 3a, the sign will take care, is a cos omega 2 tau. So this is equation 1, this is equation 2. We can easily solve these two equations and you can comment on omega and amplitude. On calculation, you get the time period of oscillation is 6 tau. Okay, let's see question number 53. And question number 53 is something in this way that there is a conductor of length 3 meter carrying current 10 ampere in negative z direction. Magnetic field is given in this way and it's in y axis. We require to find the power to move the conductor with constant speed to x equals to 2. Means we got to move in this direction in this much time. So let's see constant speed that means whatever magnetic force is being exerted on the conductor we need to apply the same force in opposite direction. So the work done would obviously be F dx and force I L cross B the current and magnetic field are perpendicular so let me go straight way you would be getting the force I B into length L dx so that's the magnetic force which is acting and obviously the magnetic field is a function of X the limit will take care when we do it from 0 to 2. It's a total work done. 
divided by the time which is 5 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 is going to give us the power in fact it's an average power but the duration is so small the word power is completely justified and it will lead us to option number C alright question number 54 is from semiconductor and out of all these four options we got to choose the forward biased diode connection and that goes very simply the potential of P has to be higher than that of N and that straight way goes to option number two. 